Hey guys, this is Annie Noodle and uh, we're gonna skip the intro today and go right into the juicy stuff because uh, I'm leaving on a trip and I don't know if I'm gonna have time to finish this as it is. Uh, yeah, it is Saturday and I am leaving tomorrow. So, <laughs> um, so I wanted to talk about finishing work and how you know when a work is finished and when you know it's not finished how do you know you want to go back to it and when you want to just leave it because I think if you're an artist you have probably got a pile of unfinished stuff and in fact if you do anything you probably have a pile of unfinished stuff so this is a great talk for all of us to have like let me tell you I have so many things I've started knitting and haven't finished so yeah let's get right into it some things I buy to experiment with and this. <laughs> I believe these are frigate birds and I wanted to try the uh, Masters Touch watercolor canvas panels because I was like, oh that's interesting. I would love to be able to paint watercolor on something that isn't paper um, without having to put ground down first. Uh, and as you can see, it looks like trash. Uh, I <laughs> Uh, and so I just, it is not fun to paint on and I did not like it at all. So I will not be trying this again. But I do actually really like this image and I've already got it set up on this piece of paper so I might try painting it in something else, right? I'm not gonna use watercolor but I do have acrylic gouache but what I'd really like to use is acrylic. Not, uh, not acrylic, gouache, gouache, that, that's the word I want. I want to do this in gouache probably so that I can leave some of the fun textures in the background and then bring other things forward. Um, and just so you know, this is not just a chatting video. I will eventually do art and maybe this will be the video that I actually put chapters in. You never know. It could be. Uh, yeah. So this is going to go in my I want to work on this still pile. <sighs> yeah. This is a cute picture of some doggos I did. and. I think it's really close to done. This is definitely a, I'm gonna finish this and probably make prints of it <laughs> because it is really cute and I love it. Uh, and there's just like a few little things like if you can see, um, there's like some pencil lines that I probably would wanna erase. Um, and I probably wanna make, give the mask some more depth and just little things like that. I wanna futz around, probably add more shadows and things. So part of this process is like, how much time am I willing to spend on this still, right? How much time, how much time do I want to spend finishing this piece? Because I have already spent a lot of time on it. Yeah, and so like at this point I'll be like, okay, I'm willing to spend one more hour finishing this up and then slap a signature on there and be done. And if it is not done, you know, maybe I need to reevaluate if it's worth my time or not because it is a really cute piece, but it's one of those. Like, I'm like, it's cute, but it's not like my masterpiece. You know what I mean? So it's not worth another 10 hours for sure. So this is going to go in my finish one. This is actually probably one that I would like to finish today with you guys. Woo! Let's talk about this mess because it's a giant mess. So, I got, <laughs> you guys know I love dinosaurs, right? Oh, 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 that just reminded me, I gotta show you. Okay, check these out. I just got these at a thrift store today, aren't they awesome? Okay, so I'm gonna introduce you to this guy first, because you might notice that his face is not all there. That's okay. Like, I do not mind. Toys that don't have their faces get homes with me too. And these are both... Um, Imperial Toy Company toys, which you can, yeah, see there. Uh, so it's always marked with that little crown and it says Imperial. You can see it better on this really ridiculous mammoth. <laughs> yeah, so it says Imperial and it's got a little crown. I love these toys. They're <laughs> always just beautiful. <laughs> uh, yeah, and when I bought them, I like went rah, 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 and attacked like the lady at the checkout and she thought it was hilarious. Just in case you guys were wondering, yes, I am like this all the time and even with strangers. Uh, okay, so now back to this guy. So I started this, oh my goodness, that's probably been more than a year. 
And as you can see, lots of succulents. I just really wanted to paint a whole bunch of succulents on him. And I was like, I'm gonna make something simple. And so I put succulents on him. And then as I was painting it, I was like, this is gonna take me like a decade to paint because of all of these little, look at that, I'm an idiot. Anyway, so this is not something I'm gonna finish today, but he's gonna stay in my, I wanna finish this pile. And this is an acrylic gouache one. So he will be painted in acrylic gouache. Um, and as I am going through these, if there are any that you guys really want to see me paint in a video, let me know, because I will definitely keep that in mind. And similar to him, I've got this super cool sea serpent on a treckle unicorn panel, and he's just got this little, I don't even know why I'm keeping this, because like, that's already on there, I don't really need it, but like, I'm one of those people that's like, uh, I'm not gonna throw away the sketch until I'm really, really done. And even then, sometimes I keep the sketch. So, this is another one that I did watercolor ground on this panel because I was like, ooh, I want to paint watercolor on there. I love watercolor. And, like, the mood that I really wanted for this sea serpent was very watercolory. And, uh, you yeah, know, I hate painting on watercolor ground <laughs> with watercolor. And this one might end up being a gouache piece, too. Not acrylic gouache, just regular gouache. Uh, so we'll see. And this is also one that I'm not going to do today, but... Eventually, this is going to be for my mom, I think. So, yeah, keep a, keep an eye out for that showing up someday. So, these cool elephants. This is a different kind of I want to fix this thing. So, I really love elephants, and I love these little faces, and I love all their happy wrinkles. But, like, they ended up with kind of like this very bold outline that I am not liking. I don't like the overall shape of this. And so I think this piece I'm actually going to, <laughs> I'm going to study for. So I have another thing to show you. Just a second. Okay, so I got this book. And <laughs> so it's going to sound kind of weird unless you've done it yourself. But like, I can paint, I don't want to say realistically, but like, yeah, you know, I have some skills, right? And I have tried to paint like folk art style. And I just like, flounder like I just I have no skills and I'm like well clearly I just need to study um and I think I saw this book on maybe Natasha Newton's channel I mean that could be I can't remember anyways so she did like a little flip through of it and I'm gonna take this on my trip with me and in my downtime I'm gonna start learning how to do some folk art and I'm not necessarily going to do that my intention for this piece is to put something kind of abstract and folk arty and like still kind of watercolory in the background. And I don't know exactly what that's going to look like yet, but that is the plan for this one. Yeah. What do you guys think of that? Does that sound interesting? I just, it's, I love this as it is, but it's not, it could be something cooler than this. I love you guys. Don't, don't worry. I love you elephants. You are still amazing, but yeah. And I mean, technically, usually I sign something and I'm like, that is it. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, here's Tiny. She's saying hi. Uh, yeah. But for this one, I just, I haven't made a print of it. I haven't done anything with it. I haven't tried to sell it because it just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel finished the way I want it to feel. So, okay. So I just want to reiterate, like, <laughs> because I was really um, surprised by my lack of ability to make, like, anything that looked, like, kind of folk arty, except for, like, the most basic, like, like, ah, oh, here's some leafies, you know? Yeah, so I just, you know, wanted to remind you not to feel bad if you actually need to learn how to do something. Like, it's okay. Even if it seems silly to need to learn it. Like, human brains are very weird, and we understand so little about them. And, yeah. Give yourself a break, my friends. Give yourself a break. Okay, so here's a different type of thing I want to fix. Um, I did this, uh, my friends and I did Dune June, June for like a Instagram drawing challenge like a couple years ago now. And this was my version of the Navigator, which I know doesn't look like the Navigator from June, from Dune. But I just, I really love this piece and I like the idea that she's somehow manipulating space. 
But like this was a daily drawing challenge, so like clearly this is not fully developed. And I would really like to take this this idea and even maybe this the reference that I used for this and like turn it into a more finished piece someday. So I will probably not work on this, but I'll use this as a reference for something else. So that is another thing that I like to do with these pieces that aren't really... They're good. I like this piece, but they're not like... They don't feel finished to me, right? So, yeah. Does that make sense? This is actually another piece like that. Um... This is from uh, a draw along with Justin Gerard. He's an awesome artist. And if you don't know him, you should go find him because he's on Instagram, posts lots of cool stuff. I like <laughs> his monsters are so awesome. Anyways, and yeah, so this is, oh, I want to say it's a mermonk. Yeah, I think it's a mermonk. Anyways, so it's like an aquatic chipmunk, right? And, uh, one of the problems is with this and with this, like it's not on super great paper. So like this was really always meant to be a sketch, right? Both of these were because this is kind of like student grade paper. I mean, it's, it's good enough that I can get my intentions across and it doesn't frustrate me, but it's not good enough that I want to spend more time on this image on this paper. But I really think that this could be such a fun thing and I'd love to see some like, I like these like stripes of water in the background, but I'd like to see some like very faint buildings or ruins or maybe like a coral reef and a lot more going on in the foreground. And obviously there's like a lot more finishing, but like that's what I want to do with this. So I would like to take this and make it into something more finished. Okay. This is another illustration that I really, really love, <sighs> but I messed up when I was making it. Um, and maybe you can see why I don't like it as much as I want to. Um, and one of the things is fixable because one of the things is I don't like the way these um, feathers look coming out of the hat. And I could fish, fix this with gouache without it ruining anything, I think. Um, and then the other thing that really bothers me is this sash. Like, this part doesn't bother me. This part looks like it's attached to a wire that's like somebody's like pulling it away from the butt. Like, it looks, it doesn't look at all like this is how a piece of fabric would flow. So, and what that means is that I would have to completely redo this piece. Um, and I don't... I like it, but I don't know if I like it enough to redo it. And I don't like it enough like this to try to make prints of it or sell it. But, I don't know. Comment below and let me know if you think I should try to redo this one. Because I, I wanted to have a watercolor background. I love this background, actually. And I'd have to totally redo, like I'd have to start over on a new sheet. And I don't... Is it worth it? Let me know. <sighs> okay, so here's a couple that I am going to rework on the paper that they're on. If you're an artist, it's so hard to make these decisions. Like, it's so hard to know, especially when... This is not my full-time job, so, like, I have to squeeze this into my free time. Free... My free time? <laughs> okay, so this is also from... I did a Smogist. I made a prompt list based on 80s movies. Do you want to guess which movie this is? It's E.T. <laughs> I love this so much. Um, and this is one that I think it it almost works as it is, but it's kind of messy. Every time I see it, I'm like, I need to finish this. And then the next time I see it, I'm like, it's fine the way it is. Like, it's okay that it's kind of a sepia tone and there's no real dark. So that's the problem is I feel like I need to push the dark values more. <laughs> And maybe like refine stuff a little better. And this would definitely just be a, I'm just gonna like spend an hour on this and then it's gonna be done. And then I can like make prints of it or something. Cause I just really love this one. Yeah. And this is, so I don't do, I tend not to do things based on licensed art unless I'm doing like an original 
or like it's so different from the original that it's not the same thing at all. Like this is clearly a dragon in a pile of stuffed animals, like E.T. hiding in the pile of stuffed animals in E.T. Uh, yes, yeah, spoilers, that happens in that movie, in case you haven't seen it. Anyways, but this is, like, it's not the same stuffed animals, it's, I don't know, I don't feel like this is, like, encroaching on anybody's copyright, you know. All right, and now here's two that I, I don't know, I, I want to finish these. <sighs> this one, I'm gonna have to be very careful with, because I, oop, <sighs> let me just get that cat hair off of there. So, this one. Um, I love, I love this piece. I do. I absolutely love it. I need to just kind of finish this bird. Um, it's not quite, it's not quite there. And like maybe do a little bit of finishing here. Like the bird, this, the far side of the bird just needs shadows. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of gouache and like refine the bird a little bit very carefully. So like... This is one that I also just want to spend like an hour on, but it, don't you know this? I don't know. I don't know. I love light like this, and I am really obsessed with this kind of light right now, and yeah. I should try to color correct this in the video when I show you guys, because like, this is like a really pretty color in person, and it's not quite reading white. My phone does not like purples and blues, so. <sighs> okay. This one. <laughs> This is the reason for this video. <laughs> yeah, this is called The Librarian's Assistant. And I started this like two years ago. And I have obviously not finished it. Um, and this is on like one of those honking big pieces of Arches paper, like the... So it's on the 12 by 16 Arches paper. I cut it off the block because it seriously was on there for like a year and I was like, I need to start using the rest of that paper before the sizing goes bad. And yeah, this I need to finish. I absolutely need to finish. This is getting done today. Guys, we're doing this today. And when I leave for my trip tomorrow, this is gonna be done if nothing else is done. This is done. This, this, this. Let's go to work. Okay guys, so. This is voiceover Annie Noodle, and I am gonna do a really bad job of the voiceover in this video, probably. It's getting late. I'm leaving for my trip tomorrow. I want this all ready so I can upload it and set it to come out for you guys later this week while I'm gone. Uh, as you can see, Tiny um, helps me achieve my goals in life. <laughs> She's always, always helpful. Um... So, spoiler, this is the only painting that I finished for this video. I spent actually a lot of hours on it, which I am not surprised by at all. I knew there was going to be a lot of work that I had to put into this in order to finish it. Um, and I am, I'm really fine with that. I am so, <sighs> I am so happy to be done with this painting. I am so happy with how it turned out. Yeah, so happy. So maybe you're asking yourself, why did it take me so long to get back to this? Why should I start this and then just let it sit for more than a year? Um, I think probably closer to two years. Uh, yeah. So the answer to that is a couple things. So first of all, I got the idea for this and I think it was definitely a little bit outside of my skill set when I started it. Uh, I made a lot of progress and I learned a lot when I was getting it set up and I had never really painted a complicated background and I decided to make all these books which means a lot of perspective and yeah and I wanted the background to be subtle and dark but still look integrated and yeah oh my goodness so it was very complicated and definitely outside of my comfort zone and I think outside of my skill set when I started it and so like I'd kept like I kept going back to it to work on it and then I would set it back down again because I didn't want to wreck it <clears throat> yeah so um and then it was stuff like this you see that I am putting another light coat of red on this book and there's a war in my head between I want everything to be very vibrant and I want 
to keep things in this painting toned down because that is the the um you know kind of vibe of this painting like yeah I don't want everything in the background to be super bright and attract your attention and plus like old books like they get you know faded looking so <clears throat> As you are watching this, you will notice that a lot of this footage of me fixing this is me putting in shadows and putting in darker tones. So, I am losing my voice. I just wanted to apologize for that quickly. Uh, yeah, I am really notoriously bad at values. Um, and I'm working on it. And it's... I am still scared of putting in darks because I think it will ruin my painting. Like, I don't want to go dark too fast, uh, and I'm trying to get over that, but yeah. Um, so I have learned a lot since I started this painting, and one of those things that I learned is, hey, if you have a blue light source and a yellow light source, like, blue and yellow light sources should be in the shadows and highlights of your painting. And I tried to get some of that captured in this, I mean, like... You know, it's a pretty complicated um, idea to wrap your brain around. Like, oh, if the light from the blue fairy is shed on this face, this part will be lit blue. And then, like, the light from the yellow light on the other side will be on this part. And then this part will be in shadow. And it will be this. Oh, my goodness. It's very complicated. Um <laughs> Okay, I've been working for a few hours. I knew there was a lot of work to do on this still. But look, this tail, it's done. And it's so nice to just be able to point at one part of this and be like, I am absolutely happy with how that looks. I'm not going to touch anything else. Okay, let's keep going. Um, and so I guess you might be wondering, like, why did I decide to try to take on such a complicated project when I wasn't ready for it? And actually... I think it's good to do that. Um, as long as you don't let it frustrate you, I think it's good to push yourself and like, so what if this didn't get finished for two years? It's finished now. And I'm, like I said, really happy with how it turned out. And I'm really glad that I putzed around until I was in a place that I felt like I had the knowledge and the skills in order to like render this the way I wanted it to be rendered when I originally made it. So I'm pretty sure I have talked about this painting before on my channel, and I think I actually did another video about finishing your old pieces, and I don't, I don't know, I don't think I did actually finished anything since then. And now that I say that, I'm not really sure that I did that video. So here's this video, um, <laughs> and so this piece um, is called The Librarian's Assistant, and yeah. Uh, basically, I just, as I was falling asleep one night, I was like, wouldn't it be funny if there, instead of, like, a two-headed cat, it was, like, a two-headed cat, and, like, one of them was a dragon face, and, like, the cat brother was always putting up with, like, the dragon brother who's always super annoying, and he keeps getting dragon spit everywhere, you know? Um, yeah, so, <laughs> and then I was like, it would be funnier if there's a whole bunch of heads, and they were all doing their own little things. And, like, it was just, like, this one brother that was always slightly irritated because he's next to the dragon head. And it's, yeah, their, like, personalities clash all the time. Yeah. Anyways, so. <laughs> so this is the librarian's assistant. This guy hangs out in a library and, yeah, uh, probably helps me, or probably helps the librarian as much as my cats help me, if I had to guess. But he also might take care of, like, keeping pests out of the library. I could see that being a thing. Although if you look at the background of this painting, possibly he's not doing the best job. <laughs> uh, the white that I'm using right now is Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White, which I just rediscovered and I'm really liking using it. So <laughs> I'm going to probably keep using it. Uh, it's actually really nice because it is a little bit translucent but you can make it opaque really easily. So like it worked perfectly for smoke. Uh, it was great for that. And here I am putting in whiskers, which means we should be getting close to the end. I mean, like this wasn't supposed to be a, you know, full on painting uh, kind of video. 
Yeah. Uh, you guys let me know if you have a bunch of bunch of stuff that you need to work on that's been uh, kind of sitting around uh, waiting for your attention. Um, one of these days, I'm going to do a vlog on all of the weird things that I do that for hobbies that aren't art related, <laughs> just so you can have an idea. Like when I say that I have a lot of unfinished projects, uh, it's not just in my art studio. It's, it's everywhere. I just, I like to keep busy and then I get distracted by new things. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, I just got a whole bunch of new native plants planted in my garden and I'm really excited about them. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm signing it. Okay. So we are really, really close to being done. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for being awesome. Leave me a comment, you know, that makes my day, uh, wish me luck in Florida. I've never really hung out there. Oh, look, we're doing a tape peel. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I have also, um, since I have a moment here at the end, oh, this is me being excited. I was really worried that the tape would be sticky after being on this paper for two years and it was not. So Good job, tape. Um, what was I saying before that? Hmm, I don't remember. It's getting really late. My cats are very angry and uh, that I'm not feeding them. So here are the glamour shots for this <sighs> finished piece. Yeah! You guys, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, and I will be back soon and be up to my usual hijinks on my channel and uh yeah yeah drop me a line and uh I will get back to you when I have time oh I'm hoping to do some plein air painting so like wish me luck with that yeah oh and I want to see an alligator yeah I want to see an alligator okay all right bye bye guys have a good week bye bye